Hey guys, so I think it's finally time to give my thoughts on the Nikon Z6 II. I shot with it both commercially and leisurely, both photo and video. So I think I have enough experience with it to finally give my opinion on this camera. But first, let's get the specs out of the way. Let's cue the B-roll. So just a little disclaimer before I continue my review, I am sponsored by Nikon, I'm one of their Z creators but this review is completely independent, they have not seen this review before it goes live and I'm going to give my honest opinions on this camera. So I previously used the Nikon Z6 and I moved over to the Nikon Z6 II and when you move over there isn't like much of a difference until you move back to the Nikon Z6. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that the Nikon Z6II's autofocus is significantly better. It acquires so much faster compared to the Z6. I tested out its burst autofocus and it managed to nail most of the shots and this is all thanks to that extra X-speed processor which also increases the burst rate to now 14 frames per second and increasing its buffer. However, the autofocus is still not perfect, it definitely still has some quirks. The eye detect and face detect only triggers at much shorter distances compared to its competitors and it still occasionally misses in low light. However, I believe that Nikon will continue to release firmware updates which would improve the autofocus system. So another thing that Nikon has promised in a future firmware update is 4K 60 frames per second video and it is something I cannot wait to try out. And since we're on the topic of video, the main advantage over the Z6 is that this camera has significantly better autofocus compared to the Z6. Images and footage all come out quite similar to the Z6 since both cameras are essentially using the same sensor which is not a bad thing at all. Images that come out of both of these cameras are great and here are some sample shots of them. So they added some small features into the Nikon Z6 II that I really appreciate and one of them is that extended shutter mode. So the extended shutter mode allows your shutter to now be turned all the way up to 900 seconds. So that means the shutter can go up for 900 seconds which is great if you're going to do long exposures or if you're shooting at night. It's absolutely perfect and you don't even need to bring a remote with you anymore. So one of the things that I've noticed when I was going out shooting long exposures is that actually the top OLED screen counts down the shutter timer and yeah, it's perfect. So you know actually how long you need to wait and there's something for you to stay on while you're waiting for your long exposure to finally. If you're using the Nikon Z6 right now, the upgrades might seem a little minimal to you but I personally would have upgraded anyways just based on the dual card slots alone that redundancy is a major plus. And those few little additional upgrades as well does make the Nikon Z6 II a much better workhorse of a camera. If you're a DSLR user and you still haven't moved over to the mirrorless system yet, I think the Nikon Z6 II is a really compelling buy and is an absolute workhorse like how the D750 is. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and feel free to leave a comment down below.